Hello students, uh, Dr. Tiwan here, Science Department Chair. I currently teach Physics, Chemistry, Environmental Science here at Fairmont Heights High School. I have a dual certification in Physics and Math for Secondary Education. As the Chair, I bring the fusion, instruction, relationships and engagement. If you didn't catch that, it spells fire. So I bring fire between my colleagues and the students. I also bring fire among colleagues. I bring fire among students. I have more than 20 years of teaching experience in Fairmont Heights High School. I have another 10 years of experience teaching college level, University of Yaoundé in Cameroon, University of Omar Bongo in Gabon. My passion for education is evident. As a lifelong learner, I believe it is never too late to accomplish your goals. I have a BS, a Bachelor of Science in Physics, Masters of uh, Physics in, from the University of Yaoundé, and I also earned my doctorate degree in Computer Science recently in the spring of 2020 from Bowie State University, specializing in machine learning and neural networks. Taken together, there are more than 60 years of collective teaching experience in this department, which gives each student an opportunity to sit in a master class. A couple of science teachers are also challenging the National Board Certification this year. Sometime during this presentation, you will witness the reaction of a couple of substances with oxygen, which will fuel them to burn. A short explanation will be provided to give you a taste of some of the things you will participate in when you sign up for science class. Thank you and have fun watching. Hello students, I'm Dr. Sugdio. I'm originally from Guyana, South America. I have a passion for nature and outdoor education. As a result, I'm excited to be a teacher in the Fairman Heights Studies Environmental Program. In this program, students are exposed to a wide range of hands-on activities, field trips, and technical knowledge that will be beneficial in a wide range of career pathways. With more than 10 years of teaching experience at a secondary level and another five years of teaching experience at a college level, my passion for education is evident. As a lifelong learner, I believe it's never too late to accomplish your goals. For example, I have earned a Bachelor's in Environmental Studies at the University of Guyana, a Master's and a PhD from the University of the West Indies in Jamaica. During this presentation, you will see some of the many exciting things we are doing in the Environmental Studies program, and we're hoping you can join us in this exciting process. Now, if you're interested in joining the Environmental Studies program, you can do so in your 10th grade year. Happy viewing. Hey, Prospective Hornets. Did you know that Fairmont Heights has an Environmental Science Academy? The Academy, led by Dr. Sukdio, focuses on the study of Earth's systems and the human impact on the environment. Through the Academy, you'd gain a solid foundation of biology, chemistry, physics, and mathematics. To be a part of the Academy is an honor, and you'd reap the benefits that it has to offer, such as a foundation for many career pathways, including, but not limited to, health, science, business, art, and information technology. You'd also get plenty of opportunities to enjoy in-state and out-of-state workshops and conferences, in which you'd learn a great deal by being outdoors. There's also more money spent on your education, which means there are more resources at your disposal. Prince George's County and other donors spend money in order to provide equipment fit for hands-on learning. You'd also gain access to a modern greenhouse and aquaponic and hydroponic systems, again for hands-on experience. Lastly, you'd get visits to the classroom from experts in the environmental field. If any of these aspects seem remotely interesting to you, don't hesitate to get in touch with Dr. Sukhi or any member of the Academy to secure a spot. Take advantage of this amazing opportunity. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Felix Eze Anoloe. This is my second year of teaching Biogeochemical Systems or BGCS at Fairmont High School prior to my arrival 
I taught science at Benjamin Student Middle School for one year. I earned a bachelor's degree in life sciences from the University of Nigeria. And I have 15 years of secondary school education teaching in my native Nigeria. I enjoy traveling, reading African novels. My favorite music is reggae music. My continued professional development includes the collaboration with Anacosta Watershed Society and the Mosul program. As a lifelong learner, I intend to retire as an educator. Biogeochemical systems is an integrated science course that lays a solid foundation for high school biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. Biogeochemical systems helps to prepare for a STEM career in college and university. My students are eager to learn and I'm excited to work with them to succeed in life. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Gladys Sibangi and I have, I have 30 years of teaching experience, having previously taught biology and chemistry for 27 years at both the middle school and high school levels in Cameroon, West Africa. As a mentor teacher at the Higher Teachers Training College of the University of Bamenda for eight years, I was responsible for training student teachers during teaching practice and certify them for the profession. For the past three years, I have taught a variety of courses here in the United States, which include biology, environmental science, and biogeochemical systems. My edu educational pursuit include a BSc in biology, a BSc in education, and an MSc in environmental science. As someone who enjoys learning, I have participated in the collaborative project with the Anacosta River watershed involving mussels. Outside of the classroom, I have a passion for event planning, traveling, dancing, and in addition, I bring a world of information and life experiences to the students here in the Fermont Heights High School about my life on the continent. Thank you, love you all. Hello, Fermont Heights Science Scholars. I am Dr. Connell Albert, and while science is my passion, teaching is my profession. So here I am as a career changer from a life in the lab to teaching at the high school level and to making the transition from a pipette in the lab to a pen in the classroom. At Fairmont Heights High School, I have taught environmental science, earth and space science, case agriculture, food and natural resources, and biology during my eight year tenure here. Having earned SPED and GENET certifications in science, I am thrilled to have the opportunity to inspire the next generation of Fairmont Heights science scholars. My educational pursuits include advanced degrees in science and teaching, to include a Bachelor of Science in Microbiology, an MS in Biotechnology, a PhD in Functional Genomics, and a Master of Art in Teaching in Education. I am currently pursuing a certificate in progress, all with the ultimate goal of becoming a better educator. In my spare time, I enjoy traveling, hiking, reading, and listening to music and inspirational podcasts. Science is fun. How would you like to have your lab and eat it too? Stay tuned. Bye. Hello students. This is Mr. Gift. Welcome to the science department. What is a gift? It's generous, intentional, free, and transformational. That's what the G, I, F, and T stands for. And my parents named me God's gift, and I like to be everyone else's gift around me. Being a son of a pastoral father and a mom and dad who are both math teachers, educational conversations have been happening in our family discussions from the beginning that's all it that happens during our dinner table having had most of my education in india in terms of schooling and then all of my college education in america i've experienced both sides of the educational system i earned a bachelor of science degree in biological sciences from the university of maryland baltimore county which is shortly called UMBC, which is located in Baltimore, Maryland. I then earned a Master of Biomedical Science degree 
from the Geisinger Commonwealth Medical College located in Scranton, Pennsylvania. I'm currently also working on earning a Doctor of Education degree in Educational Leadership from the University of Maryland Eastern Shore located at um, Princess Anne, Maryland. I currently hold four teaching certifications in biology, chemistry, work-based learning, and special education. I began working at Fairmont Heights High School back in 2015 and have taught biology, biogeochemical systems, environmental science, and college career research and development courses here. By being the transition work-study coordinator, I help my seniors with a successful and smooth transition from school to either a college or a career. I have also had the opportunity to be a co-sponsor for the Student Government Association, shortly called as SGA, and Chess Club, along with serving as a tennis coach for about three years here. My wife Sharon is a school nurse at James Duckworth Regional School, which is with PGCPS as well. I also have two wonderful daughters, one three and a half years old and the other just being nine months old. I like playing cricket and tennis as part of my recreational outdoor uh, activity. I love spending time with my family and by taking them out on a long drive. My longest drive was a 23 hour drive to Texas on the family man's Batmobile, my minivan Sienna. Hello science scholars. Today we are gonna make ice cream using creamer. We will need the following. Table salt, ice, cup and lid, non-dairy creamer, measuring spoon, and measuring cup. First, we are going to measure 100 grams of sodium chloride using our measuring cup. Next, we're going to add the 100 grams of sodium chloride into our cup, followed by 100 ml of water. You can use regular tap water, but I'm just going to use this bottle water that's sitting right here. So 100 ml of water. Next, we're going to dissolve the salt in the water. Followed by the addition of ice. So add enough ice, oops, to as close to the lid as possible, but make sure that you can close the lid. And then I'm going to use non-dairy vanilla creamer and I'm going to cover the lid snugly and shake for about three to five minutes. Okay? And while I'm doing this, I'm going to share with you that this activity actually illustrates the concept of collision particles. What well, that means is that we can manipulate the freezing point and the boiling point of water such that we can actually depress the freezing point of water to below zero degrees Celsius to about 15 to 20 degrees minus Celsius. And we can elevate the boiling point of water to about 100 degrees Celsius. In this way, we can actually have food to cook quicker because you've added a solute, in this case salt, a solvent, water, so that you can cook your food faster. 
and for the freezing point by the addition of solute again, salt, add it to water, we are lowering or depressing the freezing point. This is relevant in terms of winter when you add salt on the roads such that even though you have precipitation, it actually causes the water to remain in liquid form even though the temperature is below zero degrees Celsius. And so this is important. So we've added enough sodium chloride to the ice water in the container to lower the freezing point five to ten degrees Celsius below zero degrees. This is enough to freeze a non-dairy cream solution. So in about three to five minutes we are going to open this container and hopefully our ice cream would be at a really soft consistency that you would enjoy. My fingers are beginning to freeze and that would take care of our ice creamer activity. There it is. There's your ice cream. Yummy, yummy to taste. Okay. The end. Yes, this is Dr. Tiwon, a uh, science teacher, uh, with two demo labs just to give you a glimpse of what you will see when you sign up for a science class. Uh, the two uh, lab that we're going to do today is one that some students selected uh, called uh, Gummy Bear Volcano. Uh, another name for it is Screaming Gummy Bear, as you are going to see. And then the second one is just uh, Magnesium Lightning. So for, for the first one, we are going to use um, potassium chlorate. We're going to use uh, fire as a source of energy. And then uh, one of the reactors is going to be sugar produced by this gummy bear that's going to scream as you will see. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So let me focus the camera on the reaction. So we need a source of heat. Let's go ahead and set the fire on. So in this first part, we are going to melt uh, the potassium chlorate and uh, in, the, in the course of doing this, uh, we are breaking down, uh, separating the potassium from the oxygen. Okay, uh, we're going to talk about the equation later on, but for now, we're going to let this melt. We're going to pause the video and then uh, we'll come back after it has melted. Okay. Okay, we can see that the potassium chlorate has completely melted. At this time, we're going to drop, I am going to drop a piece of a gummy bear in there. So let me turn the fire off first. Okay, let's drop it and then see what will happen. So, go ahead and watch. 
the smoke and bring it up so you can see what's happening. Smoke. Okay, there's screaming right there. 